Hello creative people, this is Catherine with The Motley Art. In this video, I'm going to show you the process that I used to make two 6x6 layouts using Holly and Ivy Scrapbook Workshop by Close to My Heart. Check out the description below for more information. This video is going up in November of 2021 and there is still this workshop available if you are interested. I think that this layout was very simple. It'd be very easy to use this for all sorts of different layouts and for different collections. Um, it just, we start off here with a couple of bands across the middle, which just makes a really nice place to, we're kind of making a really nice background for our clusters. So this was a four by four square and it is of a black paper that came with the kit that is special to the kit. So the pattern papers you can purchase on their own, but this one piece is only available in the workshop kit. But what I love about the workshop kits, you also get all these really nice die cuts that I'm using now. And this just gives you a nice background to make these clusters on top of. And I think that's what the fun of this particular workshop has been is just so many opportunities to cluster and make these beautiful layouts from it. And so here I'm just showing how I had laid everything out and now I'm gonna start st sticking some things down. And I decided that I wanted to stick some of the things that are going underneath of that four by four black piece before I actually stick down that piece. That way I kind of can make sure that I don't stick down that piece so well that then I can't get anything underneath of it. Cause sometimes I do that. Um, I'm one of those people that like when I'm making green cards, I do not like to have any of the edges popping up. That just bothers me when I see that on my cards. So I usually like to glue right to the edge or very close to the edge so that you don't have those edges popping up. But <laughs> When you're doing this kind of clustering, then you can't get anything underneath of your pieces. So that's why I thought this time, what I was going to try is putting those b very bottom pieces down first. So then I can put my four by four square down and then I can put the things on top of it. And then I wouldn't have to worry about where I put my glue. And it worked out well, actually, um, doing it that way. So I think I'm going to keep trying to do it that way because I just find that a little bit easier to, especially for my style and for the fact that like I said I just I don't like it when you have little edges popping up I like everything to stay nicely down onto the page which of course is a personal preference I know some people really do enjoy having little parts of it stick up it can be a little bit more rustic give you a little bit more of a distressed look so here uh, I popped up my Christmas because I thought that would look really nice to have that come up a little bit more. You can kind of see the shadow behind it and just gives it a little bit of separation from those clusters. And now I'm going to finish putting on my cluster elements. Even though I probably should have put that pine cone down before I put the Christmas down. But I made it work, so that's okay. So... I'm just gonna, like I said, I just had a couple more of these elements that I'm gonna go ahead and add. And then there is a sticker sheet that also comes with this workshop. And so I did pull off a couple of stickers to finish kind of my sentiment here. I thought it would be fun to put decorate for Christmas because um, usually I tend to take a couple of pictures where we're decorating the Christmas tree. So I figure I could do that again this year and have those pictures to put up and Put a couple of the flowers that came with this as well so you really get a lot of die cuts in this particular workshop which is really fun um, but if you have a collection that doesn't come with a lot of die cuts it's really easy just to go to your Cricut or if you have a Sizzix and you know just cut out a few flowers cut out a few leaf elements and then you can add those to your items as well so that was the first layout and if you have liked this so far please hit the like button and if you want to see more videos please hit the subscribe i'm going to put up top here the video that i did first with this 
workshop. This is actually the second video that I'm making with this particular kit. And in the workshop, it comes with instructions on how to make 12 by 12. So you actually end up having instructions on how to make six 12 by 12 layouts. I'm using those instructions as my inspiration, um, but I'm not going 100% by them. I'm making some changes, um, switching it up a little bit because I'm doing smaller layouts. So I can't do it exactly the way that they did it, but I really love the way that the looks that I'm getting on these smaller layouts. And I decided for this one that my photo mat I was going to use is the four by four. So the workshop does come with a bunch of different photo mats. In the 12 by 12, there are some pages where you do a four by six. They had some four by fours and then three by fours. I'm mainly just using the four by four and the three by four. I won't really be using the four by six because on a six by six layout, it just takes up all of the space. So I'm, those are the ones that I will be using. And here I'm just, they did give you this nice journaling spot. So I'm adding that to my layout. And then I have the four by four black which the white around the edges I did do with some gel pen and they did instruct you to do that. So I, I followed that from the inspiration and now I'm going to be putting on my clusters. And so I, with this one, I just wanted to make sure that top cluster, I really kind of kept things in line. Um, wanted to make sure it was gonna go, everything was gonna go underneath of the four by four. So that's why I keep putting it back there. And I thought it would be interesting for on this like mistletoe piece to go ahead and pop it up at the top. So some of it will kind of be coming forward, but then the bottom, I'm just going to glue down. I think that's really fun to do on some of your pieces, especially when you have floral pieces, because, you know, when you look at a bouquet or a floral arrangement, you have all these different things kind of jutting out and some are behind other things and so this just kind of gives you that feeling of that movement of all these different flowers kind of pushing against each other and growing different angles i just think it makes the whole cluster look a little bit more dramatic and gives a little bit more movement so i really like how that came out and then I'm just gonna add these other couple of pieces and I think it's really pretty up there across the top. And then I'm gonna put my little cluster there on the bottom of the journaling. And so you can see there, I did try to keep the edges <laughs> free, um, put my glue mainly in the middle. So just in case I needed to tuck anything else underneath, I had the room and I'm gonna tuck these people pieces underneath a little bit. So worked out fine. So that's the big thing. If you're going to cluster and you know you're going to tuck stuff underneath, just make sure you glue more to the middle and not so much to the outside. And if you're putting these in to page protectors, that is not going to be as big of a deal if your edges are a little bit free. I don't always put mine into page, protection, page protectors. Sometimes I like to make my own mini albums and then I just set them down in there. So but if it starts to come up, then I'll just put a little extra glue underneath of it. But right now it was staying pretty well down, so I'm not too worried about it. And then I'm going to add a couple more of these flowers. I think they're great to sprinkle around these little flowers. And so I do put a few that are overlapping the photo area, but I did leave where it's overlapping free. So I should be able to scooch my image underneath the vent. I also was thinking about probably doing like an image that's a little bit smaller so that I'll get some of the white around from the photo mat as well. So I would probably do like a three and three quarters square image instead of a full four by four. But you either way works. And there we go. This is my layout and I love the way that this one came out as well. And then I did decide though that I wanted to add one more little element there at the top. So I did one more sticker that says love. So this is the first layout that I did. And then this one's the second. And then I actually made two more using this inspiration and these papers. 
and I just love the deers. I just think they're so precious. I love the look of this layout. Thank you for watching my whole video and I hope this was inspiring to you to grab some paper and some die cuts and make your own fun layouts and I hope you have a very creative day.